Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, we got the UL19 out here at the speed run spot. It's actually kind of rough, and um, I really want to run the boat, so uh, we're going to give it a shot. Never really run this boat in rough water, so um, uh, you guys will get a, <laughs> a little show. All right, so um, let's get it. Let's get it. I got a few things I want to show you guys before we run. All right, got the GPS cleared out here. Okay, stop, record, put it on its Velcro. Not really trying for speed, which I do have a speed prop on, but um, I'm really just wanting to test this prop out on the boat. Okay, uh, I'm also testing and looking for heat in this motor. I just rebuilt this motor. I got a new rotor for it. I used rotor, CM rotor and i rebuilt it i put it in the boat i put my collet on and i noticed that i have some back and forth movement and my other cm motor doesn't have that much um which this actually is a, a v2 in bells I, I this is a v1 motor but i have v2 in bells on here and i've i don't even know what version rotor it is but it's like a frankenstein motor so i think i need to actually add a shim take the rotor back out add a shim up forward and alleviate some of that or maybe shim it up from the back i, I really have to open it up and do some figuring but um it should be good it should be good all right uh so yeah new stuffing tube speedmaster strut um i used my ride height gauge here i always tune my boat with this ride height gauge i run this gauge back and forth on my tunnel i don't really use it back here the only the only i use it back here for a reference you feel me so i get my tunnel set right neutral tunnel and then i i measure it back here okay and then i, I remember the measurement that way if on the when I'm out here and I need to put some negative or positive, what I do is I use this ride height gauge. I slide it under my boat. I loosen everything up and this ride height gauge keeps the boat at that height. And then I go negative or positive on my, my strut. And then I tighten everything up and pull my ride height gauge out. All right. I'm also testing this. I have a short I, I made a new turn fin a short turn fin so i'm testing that out um testing a lot of stuff out you know i'm actually testing my front canard i've actually done some work to my sponsons okay i've uh knocked probably about a half a millimeter to about a millimeter or a half a millimeter off my the back of my ride pads uh knocking that dead rise off you feel me so mine's not going to be the same okay and um my tune period won't be the same as anybody else's tune because uh, i've done a lot of work to my boat it's got a heavy electronics i've got to compensate weight and all that uh yeah i've got a lot going on with this boat right here a uh, new rudder that i'm not used to running this dual pickup um ose rudder it's shorter than the stock rudder uh testing that out uh my, my stuff into bend hopefully i got all that right i'm actually testing this new prop this 1916 I mean, 1917 so um yeah let's get it let's get it hopefully this weather will cooperate let's get it let's get it i'm gonna let the ripples cool down a little bit actually got a pretty nice rat attitude flat nice and flat nice scared to open it all the way up because we have these it's like it's like wakes you know it's like little four inch wake <laughs> every two seconds it's not really just a chop, it's, uh, it's bouncy. All 
Alright, here we go. Motor sounds good. Nice. The prop sounds good. Yeah, before I got that uh, cooling line hung up in the prop, man, it was like, it was slick as it could be out here, man. It's crazy. Whew. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> I actually have this piece of wood. It's like, it's supported. You know, you can actually, you can walk on it. You know what I mean? I got it. It's supported under there. You made it though. You're good to go. Get splinters that way. <laughs> to the wind and we flipped it <laughs> oh yeah probably shouldn't have went into the wind shouldn't have went into the wind it, it, it took it last 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 run I figured I'd give it another shot even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go I never answered a no man I still go 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 send it send it again the boats boats does it for me i love my boats all right here we go let's send it yeah see how it's coming up out of the water <laughs> so about how fast is that right there oh probably about 60 yeah about 60 mile an hour Yeah, this boat right here is for it, it likes calm water, you know. That boat there does good. It, the mono style hulls, you know, a V hull, they do good in this chop, but that one, <laughs> it's, it's gotta be flat. Oh, oh, we landed it. <laughs> I think it's time to bring it in. <laughs> Submarined it. So both, did you get it offline or from the hobby shop? From, uh, from the hobby shop, yep. This one right here, is, it's a discontinued boat. They don't make this one no more. All right, so uh, yeah, it was a little bouncy, you guys, but I'm actually pretty happy with the way it was running. Let's check the temps real quick. That new motor I just rebuilt. I did flip it, but it was actually a pretty good little gust of wind that I was driving into. And this is my first run after the complete rebuild. So just kind of filling it out. I did run it the other day with the with the Velez. I had the Vel it was a stock strut basically, but I pulled that strut off the Velez. They look the same. I don't know if they're the exact same strut. Well, we had gotten 77 miles an hour with it the other day, and I did some more tinkering, as I was saying. So we need to check everything out. All right. Bone, bone dry in there. Okay, 73. 
73 miles an hour on a rough day i'll take it i'll take it all right so really interested in the temps here 106 on the back 120 up front 133 so I really, I really want to shim the front of that motor up. It's got a lot of play in it. The ESC, it, it's barely breaking 100. The wires, 104, 91. Yeah, temps are great. 32, 122. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. I appreciate you guys watching. All right, temps were good. Uh, 73, I'll freaking take it. All right, rough water, I'll take it. We'll see you guys next time. Big B. What are you going to